Good evening. Indiana's school voucher program is still a go, even though some said it was unconstitutional. A judge upheld the decision, saying the law was religion neutral. News Channel 15's Megan Royce got reaction from the president of the Fort Wayne Education Association tonight. And what does FWEA have to say about this? Mark and Heather, President Al Jackway says he had a feeling the voucher program would be upheld. But Jackway says it brought an important issue back into the spotlight. Although teacher associations across Indiana were let down Monday, Fort Wayne Education Association's president, Al Jackway, says fighting the program in court did accomplish something. I think it was really to educate the public on what the, really the issue is. Jackway says taxpayers' dollars should be kept in public schools, not transferred to private and parochial schools. Our beef is with public taxpayer dollars going to those private schools to fund their programs, whereas it's taking money away from the public sector. Groups across Indiana aren't done pushing to get the school voucher program blocked. They plan to appeal this week's decision. ISTA and the group of churches that are still suing saying it's not a, a fair separation of church and state dollars. A Colorado judge blocked its school voucher program just a few days ago. And legislators in other states say they like to stay away from the sticky topic. It's happening around the country. There are some states, Pennsylvania won't even have any talk of vouchers at all. Their, their legislators agreed that we're not even going to go there and address that issue because it does take money away from public schools. Jackway's biggest concern is just that money leaving public schools. The playing field isn't level. It's not fair uh, that they get to pick and choose who they want, and the, the money follows the kid. And then in our case, we get stuck with what's left. Attorneys for the state argue the program doesn't actually give scholarships or doesn't actually give scholarship vouchers to schools, but to parents who then choose the schools themselves. Supporters of the program also say it expands educational options for working class families. Okay, Megan Royce, thank you.